Uninspired, but willing. Uninspired, but willing, is how I work through most of my day. It's true. Did you think that I felt like starting this video? I don't go around all day going, gosh, I should be on video. Look how wonderful I look. <laughs> now, some of you really are very uh, good looking and you are blessed to have been born with such wonderful bone structure and skin. And yeah, maybe you should be on video more often. Well, I, you know, I don't want to downplay my looks or whatever, but you know, I didn't, I'm not necessarily a model, <laughs> but I'm here because I'm here on video even though I don't like making video because some people have told me that what I say is helpful to them. And so I keep showing up. If it's going to help somebody, great. Uninspired but willing is how I work most of the day. So whether I am making a video, I start the video, at the beginning of the video I'm not inspired, and then as the video goes on I get more and more inspired and the conditions aren't always right. For example, I can't find my earphones right now. I usually make my video with my earphones so that the audio is better, you know, my earpiece, and I can't find it. So the audio has to go through the, the mic on my phone and it's not, it's probably a little bit more echoey than usual. And this time I forgot to start a timer for myself, um, but I'll, I'll try to track my time. You know, so conditions aren't, always per conditions usually are not perfect just before I started making the video my cat started meowing loudly and I'm like oh no it, is she gonna sometimes she just meows loudly for a while until until she settles down I'm like oh is that gonna but thankfully she's not meowing right now and I'm here on video with you so whether it's making a video or whether it's writing writing is the same thing the, you know, you, you see that I write a lot uh, or I post my writings uh, often. Did you feel, did you, do you picture that I'm like some inspired person just joyfully writing and oh, it's brilliance it just comes out and it's all easy. No, writing is hard for me anyway. Some of you watching this are blessed with make, having writing be easy for you and therefore you should write more because you have that superpower, wonderful. But for a lot of us, creating is not easy. Writing for me is not making videos. Writing for me, both are not easy. It doesn't come naturally to me. If it was up, to, if, if, if nobody in the world needed help, if there was nothing I could do to help anybody, I would not make videos and I would not write. It's not an enjoyable experience. Did you think it's supposed to be? Did you think creating, and this is something that I, I think is really, um, it's done a disservice to society is so many movies about, you know, famous people have scenes where they get inspired by some idea and then you see them like, you know, joyfully creating their invention or doing their art or whatever. And so when we, if we grew up watching those scenes, we think, well, create, creating the act of writing videos, art, or, or, or making a business or whatever should be joyful and inspired. But most of us who create consistently can tell you that it's usually not. And those of us who wait until we're, we're inspired don't have as much output. We don't create as much. And oftentimes, even if we're inspired and we create something, it doesn't always have the kind of impact that we expect. And if we only show up when we're inspired, we get a lot less practice creating and communicating compared to the people like me, George Cow, who show up uninspired, but willing anyway to practice. I see it all as practice and I invite you to do the same. Again, I hope you will normalize the discomfort that is natural in the process of creating. Creating art or making something that wasn't there before by definition means that the thing you make could fail. It could not make an impact or people might not understand it. People might even judge it. You might even judge it later, right? So you might even be afraid of your own judgment during the act of creation and afterwards. The act 
of making something that wasn't there before, which is the definition of art or any kind of creation, videos, writings, podcasts, episodes, art, whatever, means that it might fail. And knowing that it might fail creates pain within us of the pain of doubt, uncertainty, self-judgment, wanting to quit, whatever it may be. And you have to understand that that pain is normal. That pain is normal, but the suffering is optional. You don't have to slide all the way from that doubt and uncertainty into, I'm going to quit. If you can catch yourself as you feel that doubt and uncertainty, if you catch yourself and go, oh, that's normal, let me reset my emotions somehow with some kind of practice. Do you have a practice for resetting your emotions in the act of creating? My practice is called the Energy Reboot. You can go to Google and search Energy Reboot and you'll find my video and blog post about it. But many of us have different practices. Whatever works for you to reset your emotions so that you're, you, you have a little bit of a optimism and hope again to continue writing, to continue making that video, to continue working with that tech that you're so frustrated working with, to continue creating that art that you don't know if anyone's going to like. If you can reset yourself, when you catch yourself sliding into doubt and uncertainty and self-judgment and punishment or whatever, catch yourself and then reset yourself with a practice and keep creating. Every time you do that, you get a little bit more strong and confident in doing that in the future. And after you've created something, you probably feel proud of it. Even though it's not the best thing in the world, even though this video is not the best video in the world, I'm going to feel glad afterwards that I made this, that I showed up anyway when I was uninspired, but willing to do it. And that is, no, that is when you know you are in the experience of personal growth, isn't it? When you are uninspired, but willing to do something good, afterwards and afterwards you feel good about it, that's when you know that personal growth happened. If you're always just comfortable, you're probably not growing very much. You're probably not creating a lot of value, new value, because value by definition is something that is surprising, something that is uh, better than what's already everybody already knows. That's what value is. So the creation of value brings the possibility of mistakes and failure, which brings those negative emotions, which you have to catch yourself when you feel them, reset yourself, keep creating. Uninspired but willing is how I work most of the day. And that practice has become a superpower for myself to be able to create so much. And I hope you will practice that as well. I wish you well. Remember, normalize creative discomfort and keep creating uninspired but willing. I wish you well.